bracket x, close bracket, is equal to x to x to the power of two uh, minus two x minus three, and g open bracket x close brackets uh, is equal to two x plus a. Okay, just before we carry on, Jason. Yeah. So this type of um, notation, the type of writing, is called function notation. And the f and the function g are the names yeah, the function of the function of x and the g of x. No, no. But all of yeah. them are functions of x. The f and the f okay. and the g are its names. Okay, you've got oh, a name. Okay. I've got a name. Everybody else has a name. The parabola has a name. It's called f. And the straight line has a name. It's called f. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's it. The f and the g is its name. But the way we pronounce it is we say f of x and g of x. You don't have to say g open bracket x close bracket. You just say f of x and g of x. Okay. All right. I'm listening. Um, no, what the two graphs say, they say the graphs of the uh, function of x. Well, they say these two graphs do not intersect. Find all the possible values for a. Oh, goody. <laughs> that mm -hmm. doesn't sound too good. The problem is you need to know um, nature of the roots. Do you? Uh, well, yeah. Okay, because what what's going to happen in a question like this? If me, let me just quickly sketch the scenario so you've got a visual reference for it. Let's say. That is the parabola, and that is the straight line. All right. If you take the parabola equation and you subtract the straight line equation from each other, in other words, you're going to say f of x minus g of x. Yeah. And I'm going to give x squared minus 2x minus 3 minus... 2x plus a, which will give us x squared minus 2x minus 3 minus 2x minus a, which will be x squared minus 4x minus 3 minus a. That equation is a normal quadratic equation. Do you agree with me? Yeah. Okay, so after you've subtracted the two graphs from each other like a normal algebraic thing that you've done in grade 8, now you end up with a normal um, quadratic equation. It's no longer the equation of a graph, but it is a quadratic equation nonetheless. Okay. All right, and now, if you work out the discriminant of that new um, quadratic equation, and your roots are equal, you've got a tangent. The straight line has become a tangent. It touches the graph in one place. If you have real roots, in other words, the roots are bigger than zero, uh, but not equal to zero, it means your straight line will actually pass through your graph twice. And if you have non-real roots for that new quadratic equation, it means your straight line graph will never touch the graph. They don't have even a one point in common. Shall I repeat okay. that? Okay. Um, yes, please. <laughs> okay. You subtracted the two graphs from each other. That you that made you end up with a new quadratic equation. Now, if you take that new quadratic equation and you work out the discriminant, remember the discriminant is delta is equal to b squared minus 4ac. So if you then work out the discriminant yeah. of that new um, quadratic equation and you get real roots not equal to zero, it means your straight line intersects your parabola twice. If you get equal roots, 
it means that straight line is a tangent. It touches the graph only once. And if you get non-real roots, it means the straight line graph never touches the, the, the parabola. So you're going to be working with okay. the discriminant and not with graphs, believe it or not. Okay, all this right. This is the nature of roots question. It's not a graph question. Okay, but they, they, uh, in the question they give you the information that the graphs do not intersect, so they don't touch each other, so is okay, that a which clue? Yes, exactly. Yes, which means okay, we so, need to find the so value, this. looking at that quadratic equation that we have there, we need to find the value for A so that the roots are non-real. Now, you've done questions like this when they give you the equation and they say, please find the value of A so that the roots are non-real. Now they've just come with an, uh, an angle. They gave you graphs, but they actually want the same thing from you. Okay. So, what is the next step? Oh, uh, well, then you'd use the discriminants and you'd substitute the values in. Okay, so let's do it. Delta okay, equals so to you squared minus 4ac. And then it's equal to uh, negative 4 squared minus 4, 1, um, now, would C, is C everything after X? C is everything not containing X. X not containing X, yeah. So C minus A. Okay. So then you'll have 16. All right, and then you'll take the 28 to the one side, and then you uh, divide through by 4. No, no, no. This is not an equation, Jason. On the left-hand side, we've got a little triangle. Delta, we don't oh, have the zero delta on the left hand side. So then. So now we've got an expression for delta, but what now? Well, could you simplify it and take four out of the equation? What, how? Twenty-eight plus four a. I mean, <laughs> still not going to help you to do anything. No. Mm. Remember, we now have an expression for delta. We also know that we are looking for non-real roots, which means we are looking to find the values where delta is smaller it's than smaller zero. Than and and zero. there yeah. we have a linear inequality. Actually, they're really going all out on this one. Yep, that's high grade. Are you happy wow. with that? Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, now remember what I said just now. This wasn't a graph question to begin with. This was the nature of the roots question. You need to know where yeah, it fits in in the bigger picture. Yeah. Okay. Do you satisfied? Uh, yes, I'm satisfied.